Howdy folks, welcome back, BAC and Pelosi, and I'm bringing you uh, the next video, as I said in my previous video, which was the T18 video, I was going to bring you a T1 gameplay, so this is the T1 Heavy, the T1 Heavy is, is a American Tier 5 tank, this is the one I normally play, which is the BDR French tank, and you take consideration details like that, uh, uh, say that and there. That's what I normally have. That's the norm. That's the normal gun I normally have when I'm playing the BDR. Look at 240 base penetration, 135. However, let's go back to this one. This is a T1 heavy, and one or two things about this unique uh, tank is the fact that oh, I just chose the wrong one. I always do that. Uh, this one, the fact. Got the ammo is slightly different, the profile is different. Uh, the hull is 83 by 44 by 41, so 83 in front, 44 on the side, 41 on the back. Uh, but the turret has 102, then 83 around the rest of it. So the turret is the strongest part of this tank, better than the, uh, the BDR. Uh, the, the body is the same as the BDR, only 83, but the turret is a lot better. So easy, if you could hide the body behind something, it's hard you know, to get really penetrating shots if you haven't got over 100 millimeters worth of damage however saying that there is one slight flaw and it's that the gun look at the gun 76 mil caliber 516 rounds per minute which is not too bad so it does in theory have you know a greater no a damage in overall however look it's only 115 and it's only 128 penetration compared to that one so that's exactly what uh, th this tank is it's not a bad tank it's a pretty fast tank you take consideration the speed well to be honest let's go into the re uh, research and show you this i haven't bothered to go for that because it's only fifty uh, 75 horsepower more but I'm trying to go for this one yeah the M6 which you know is a really fantastic gun. but overall at the moment uh, its speed is quite s simple you know, we've got a maximum top speed of 35.4 if you look at the BDR one and we're talking about 30 so it's a faster tank it's heavier but it's also faster so let's get on with the gameplay and here it is the gameplay now t14 right let's have a look now uh, i can't remember the name of this map uh ah oh god it's losing me right normally if i'm playing with my bdr or the t1 heavy i'm going to spawn this side i do normally go this way however what catches me out in a second as i said in my previous video it's something really really conf this confused me right here normally right here if, as you get here, normally they'll spot the first person will shoot up there. Will suddenly spot uh, either a light tank or a medium tank, and you know, and literally, you know they're going that way. So somebody normally comes this way, and somebody goes normally goes the other way. However, no one spotted anybody, and I get prompted by one of the teammates to follow him. So I decide to follow him. That's what this what threw me straight away. There was no one on that area, and that to me meant something's not quite right we're not playing a particularly good team or they decided to try a different tactic i honestly think i'm leading to that there's a there was a lot of uh i think lower uh not very fair fair players to be honest because there were some good players don't, don't get me wrong there were some good players uh however there seemed to be a lot of wrong decisions i i must admit i did wrong some wrong decisions I went across there, and no one's no no. I didn't see no one, so I decided, well, I'll take a shot there. You know, he's not even he's not even aiming at, and that's I think it's a KV one, is it? I think it's a KV one. I'm not quite sure. But somebody just finished him off me. Oh, I like get hit from the side. That's the first person I've seen who's taken a forward position, and that's that nice medium, I think. And oh, come on, he's he's definitely in trouble now. He is surrounded. Oh, he's gone. So, you know, I've already hit, the, you know, I've had a couple of shots in these tanks. I haven't taken anybody out yet, but I've had a few couple of shots. I think there's another one. Yeah, coming up to another one now, right? It's just really weird. They're, they're normally in force on this side of the map. There's no one there. There's two tanks in front of me. Uh, uh, oh, he got me. All right, fair enough. I'll hit him back. Hit him back. See, at the moment, I'm doing all right. I'm waiting for my track to uh, repair. 
Am I going to get my first kill? Got my first kill. That's not too bad. And oh, nice little shot in him. So I'm going to take it. He's going to run away in a minute. He's, oh, yeah, he's definitely going to run. <laughs> oh, somebody just finished him off. <laughs> so, so I am playing with a particularly really good team. And as you can see, normally, you've uh, on this side of the map, you're stuck with a lot of heavy tanks, medium tanks, uh, and some tank destroyers. I, it's really a sluggy match just getting this far. And, you know, it's gone less than... Oh, two minutes, two and a half minutes, maybe possibly three minutes, and we're virtually by their spawn. Uh, this is unbelievable. Yeah, this is uh, this is a mistake. I should have moved back. Uh, instead, I stayed there and I allowed him to hit me. I bounced that shot. This is when I should have moved. I just wanted to finish him off, and that's when he started penetrating me. I should have just backed off a bit. You know, I could have easily been killed there because he hit my armor rack, but he didn't kill me, so I got that kill. I know I really have been pounding these players, and you take consideration it's 16 rounds per minute, well, just under 17 rounds per minute, and it only has 115 health points. You know, in theory, it's probably uh, in par with the BDR BDR G1B uh, D, I should say, with uh, its overall alpha damage. Though that's only 240, and it's only got six rounds per minute, so it must be really close to that. So, however, there's the last tank now, and you can see how quick the game has finished, you know, literally finished, and that's it, game over. And that was the quickest I've ever played this map. And here is my results. And lo and behold, I get second uh, second mastery badge, you know, the second position of mastery. I still haven't got mastery badge on my, on my T1 Heavy. I've got my BDR1, but apparently it doesn't show up on my stats. Yeah, I've got it. However, I do have... The high caliber, as you can see, that the high caliber medal that's really, really strange. I don't normally have that. Well, I've unlocked the last engine, as you can see, I'm showing you in the intro. I'm not going to use my money on that because, unless I'm going to keep the T1 heavy, but I think I'm going to go for the M6. I think that's the one that I really get, want to get my hands on. The T1 heavy is okay, but it's not as good as the BDR one, in my honest opinion. However, look at that well over 1,000 worth. Of da uh, gun damage, unbelievable for a 115 gun. Uh, and that was absolutely fantastic. It was quick. That was the quickest game I've ever ever played on. As I said, on that map, uh, I just cannot believe the results. You know, it was absolutely fantastic. As you can see I've got damage on quite a lot of those tanks. <laughs> And a couple of them I really hit quite a few times, and it's just unbelievable. And it's on top of experience as well, and it's definitely not like me. There we are. I even made a profit. That's definitely, definitely not like me. So, all I can say is I hope you enjoyed this uh, gameplay. If you do play World of Tanks, uh, can you suggest me a decent tank I'm going to go for? I'm still trying to go for the Hellcat and the M6, and I'm also trying to get my ARL44, but I do really want to get my hands on the KV2 as well, but I'm trying to, to work out. If anybody wants to join up as a platoon mate and help me out with some of these missions, it would be most appreciated. But until next time, as you can see, none of my characters are full 100%. I don't like to waste gold. I do have some, but I just don't like to waste it. But until next time, it's me, Will, sign off, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon. Take care now, folks. Bye.